a little up, down, up, punch, bam. Caught me while I was moving backwards. It didn't even hurt, okay? I've had shots that I've been on my feet that hurt a lot more. That's why it's called a knockdown. It is what it is, baby. It's boxing. I got up, I put up a, a great fight. And that man, I talked to his team afterwards. They had to talk to him and make him keep fighting. He was about to quit on the stool, people, hey. okay? That man won the fight. He couldn't talk after the fight, hey. okay? So y'all need to understand boxing a little bit better, man. We, Do your research. We got Tim coming on to the to sh he's Tim just made a request. Is that is that what that is? Tim, yeah. So I'm gonna accept this. The man with the plan to knock me out. That's exactly right. You know it, bruh. You know it. You didn't even have to say anything. You said it for yourself. Hey, I'm repeating your words. You said it timidly. I would appreciate it if you said it with your chest. At the press conference, you were a little timid, like a like a little boy. But look, man, you're you're happy. This, this is I'm happy, you, brother. Bro. This is you. You got a big mouth. You like to talk too much. Am I not the biggest name you've been in the ring with? Stop playing with the yourself. Biggest, you're the I'm biggest the realest. Man. You're not the, I'm one of the, the best in the game. You're not the you're not I the most talk. talented bloke I've ever fought. Because yeah, I yeah, walk. You, that's all you are. You're a talker. I only you're talk to talk. because I walk. You're a big I mouth. I this life. You were born into it. I was. I lived this life too since I was seven years old, baby. Hey, and this ain't nothing no, new. Show you why I was born into this fight. Because I like to punch and I like to fight. That's what it is. Oh, your yeah, best I will. shot. I will. I what will. What you gonna do, Zoo? What you gonna do? I'm Throw gonna knock you shot. out in two. That's in what I'm two. gonna do. <laughs> in, in two. two. <laughs> All right, baby. I hope you don't get wobbled. You're 22 and 0 with 17 knockouts. I was 22 and 0 with 20 knockouts. Okay. 24. Oh, okay. 24 and 0 with yeah. 17 knockouts. I was 24 and 0 with 22 knockouts. Okay? It's fine. I'm still knocking it is people what it out. Is, baby. You haven't knocked you, anyone out pick in your, a they, decade. They pick, they pick the right fight me. for you, mate. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, this is gonna be a good ass fight, man. It's gonna be a good ass fight in my opinion. Shout out to both uh Tim Zoo and Keith Thurman for that sound bite, bro. Because man, it, it was just you know, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman talking about the golden years of Keith Thurman. Thurman mentioned the Pacquiao situation, um, talking about uh how the knockdown happened, which I explained that to y'all. I said he was on his way back, he was going back. Pacquiao hit him with a clean shot, and you could really say. It was a loss of footing that made Keith Thurman fall. I literally said that, and I had people chew me out in the comment section that that wasn't what happened. Like, it was a flush shot. It was it was a legendary punch, and it knocked down Keith Thurman. Then why didn't it happen anymore for the rest of the fight? Right? Why didn't it happen anymore? Right? In the rest of the fight, you had you had first round knocked down, and then you had 11 more rounds where he couldn't get that punch anymore. Right, so I want you guys to go tell Keith Thurman he lying. Since, since y'all said I was lying, no, we we agreed on the same thing. That's exactly what happened in that fight. But it's just go to show you guys. I've been knowing I've been talking about sometimes. I ain't gonna say all the times, but most of the times I've been I'm talking about, bro. Anyways, bro. So you get them talking, uh, both Porter and Thurman, and then you get uh Keith uh trying to finish up his statement, and and Sean saying, "Hold on, bro. Uh, look like Tim Zoo. I keep telling y'all, bro." Every time it gets closer and closer to the fight, Tim Zoo get amped up, bro. He start talking his shit, bro. And I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. This was one that I really wish was was done on a on a big scale because it really would sell the hell out of this fight if everybody would see it. That's why I took the initiative to bring it to you guys' attention that this happened. Cause I know a lot of y'all might not have even seen this, bro. So I'm bringing it to y'all's attention because of that. Tim Zoo steps up to the plate. And immediately the trash talking start, bro. It didn't take me that long to edit that footage. It didn't, bro, because, bro, it happened like as soon as the conversation started, they started going back and forth. Now you got this this cloud that hangs over this fight. It's more so experience versus a hopeful. All right, and you will, you will really look at the experience and the veteran as Keith Thurman going up against a hopeful in Tim Zoo. And most people treat him to a certain degree like Terrence Crawford. He don't got the resume to claim that he could be Keith Thurman, which is why a lot of people are saying that they see Thurman taking this W. 
because they think that Thurman has the resume. I'm not calling Keith Thurman no bum, bro. I've said on, on several uh, different videos while covering this fight that I think Keith Thurman liked that, bro. I think he's the best welterweight of the last stable in the welterweight division. You can even add Errol Spence in there. Even though he didn't fight Errol Spence, you can add him in there. You had Kel Brook, you had Danny Garcia, you had Sean Porter, you had Keith Thurman, you had Errol Spence, right? Even Terrence Crawford to a certain degree could also be a part of that. But those guys had the biggest fight just last year. Prior to the big fight between Errol Spence and, and uh, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman was the man. He was the man, bro. So it is what it is in that essence, bro. He only took one L in his career to Manny Pacquiao. I mean, that's an impressive uh, career nonetheless. But, bro, I don't see him getting past this hopeful. I don't, bro. And, and I know right now, if you, you just on the Tim Zoo bandwagon. No, I'm not, bro. I see talent. I see talent, bro. That's all this boils down to. If you guys don't think that Tim Zoo is like that, go watch Zoo versus E. No way. You talking about him beating up Tony Harrison? No, I'm not. You talking about him beating up uh 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 Ocampo, Carlos Ocampo? No, I'm not. You talking about the fight he had with Brian Mendoza? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Go watch Zoo versus E. No way. How I figured out that Zoo was like that, bro. It was supposed to be Jamel Charlo and Tim Zoo. That's what it was supposed to be. Me covering championship title fights, that's what I do. I look for the championship title fight. If it's a big enough fight, I'll bring it to y'all's attention. That's all it boils down to. If you want to know my game plan, bro, that's what I do, right? I find the biggest fight that I can bring to the fans, and it ain't got to be some of the bigger names in the game. It could be a regular old title fight. I'll bring it to you guys. Just it is what it is. It's supposed to be Zoo versus Jamel Charlo. The fight falls through. They did a press conference. It was over the Zoom call. They did a press conference. I seen the press conference. I was like, okay, they about to fight. Let me go get some, <clears throat> excuse me, let me go get some research on Tim Zoo to see how good he is. I didn't even know it was Costa Zoo's son at the time, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I promise I didn't, bro. I didn't know it was Costa Zoo's son, uh, son at all, right? So I go see the dude. I'm like, ah, oh, man, he all right. Then I seen him in the Inouye fight, right? I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa, because, bruh, it was like that, right? He took a lot of power from Inoue, bruh, and he gave Inoue a lot of power, bruh, and that fight is like that, bruh. I'm surprised I didn't even know about that fight, right? I'm surprised nobody talked about it. So I'm like, okay, man, Jamel might have his, 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 his work cut out for him, right, with this guy, right? But the fight falls through, Jamel gets his hand broke, whatever the case may be. I say, damn, I ain't even going to be able to cover Tim Zoo. Because the fight fell through until they said he was going to fight Tony Harrison. I didn't want to cover Tony Harrison either. I didn't want to cover Tony, right? But I'm like, okay, Tim Zoo taking Tony. That's kind of a dangerous fight. Tony is a well-known name. And at the time, I'm thinking Tony going to run through Tim Zoo, right? And he going to go and see Jamel Charlo. We can get Jamel Charlo versus uh, uh, Tony Harrison three. That's what I thought. Right until I did the side by side of Tony Harrison and Tim Zoo, I said, "No, Zoo gonna beat his ass." That's exactly what I said, man. Zoo gonna beat this dude, bro. I say, "Zoo gonna beat Tony Harrison, bro." Go back through my timeline if you think I'm lying. And since then, bro, he has he has remained in that gap of just talented, bro. So yeah, I think he Thurman the beast. Yeah, I think he a beast. Do I think he gonna get through Tim Zoo? No, no, I don't, bro. So. Now, if you, you, you just on the bandwagon, no, I'm not. I'm just keeping it a bean. I think Keith Thurman can box and move around, right? But he got to score points, bro. He got to score, right? He can move around that ring all he wants to, bro. He got to land punches, which means he's going to have to either punch on the go or stop to try to get those punches off. And you're talking about a guy who's in his late 30s, early 40s, right? Late 30s early 40s going up against a hungry dude who has more so the power advantage and the reach advantage and let tony harrison tells it right even though i can't say that keith thurman and tony harrison is on the same level when it comes to boxing right but let T tony harrison tell tell it he's a lot faster than you would think by watching those film he said he prepared for the power he did not see the speed coming. I'm thinking Keith Thurman is going to be thinking the same. Right now, I know a lot of you Australian fans, y'all might say this is going to be an early fight knockout. I highly doubt that. 
don't sleep on Keith Thurman, bro. I do think that Keith Thurman could definitely win this fight, bro. I just, I just don't see it happening, right? It's only, can, it only can be one winner, right? Unless they draw, it can only be one winner, right? I'm not looking for the draw. I'm looking for the win. If I had to put my money on the win, I'm going to bet the guy who had the most work output last year in 2023, not the guy who we ain't seen in two years. Then the last guy we seen him in the ring with was Mario Barrios, who don't punch like Tim Zhu, who not as fast as Tim Zhu, and technically he a come forward fighter, right? So that technically fits the Keith Thurman mode. And it's funny how when Thurman beat Barrios, y'all were saying it was a close call and that Keith Thurman wasn't that good no more. He was a shell of himself because you seen Tank Davis knock out Barrios and then you seen Keith Thurman go the whole fight. And now y'all saying that he gonna beat the knockout puncher in Tim Zoo? So either you hating on Zoo, right? Either you hating on Zoo, you ain't never seen him fight, or you just picking the guy that you think gonna win because you hearing all of the elite boxers over there from PBC saying what uh, uh, saying that he gonna win, keep, keep Thurman gonna win, and you just jumping on the bandwagon. Bro, go watch Zoo versus No Way. Just go watch that fight, bro. Don't watch Harrison. Don't watch Harrison. Don't watch Ocampo. He beat him in the first round. You can watch Mendoza. That's also a good claim because here's the thing about Mendoza. Mendoza's slick. That's a slick fighter. And he's not going to really engage. He's going to let you walk into stuff. But to a certain degree, Mendoza don't know how to pick up the pace. He don't know how to do that. If you watch Mendoza versus uh, um, Jesus Ramos, right? It was the same scenario that it was with him and Tim Zoo. It was the same scenario. He still had, had moments in that fight where he, like, he was going to go steep in that fight too. But to a certain degree, he was able to avoid conflict more than not, right? That's why he loses by a wide margin. Let's keep it a bean. He loses by a wide margin. But he, he was able to last until the final bell. The same thing plays out with Mendoza and Zoo. He didn't really have a big output. He really didn't. He just avoided conflict long enough to last to the final bell. No offense to Brian Mendoza. He's an excellent fighter, bro. I slept on him. I seen him knock out Sebastian Fondora. I will no longer sleep on him ever again. It just it is what it is. But saying that to say, Keith Thurman does have a legitimate shot of winning. If it's 10 rounds, I see him making it out of 10 rounds. If it goes 12, Keith Thurman is going to sleep. That's just my opinion. I don't even want to see it happen, bro. I don't, bro. I don't want to see it. I'm watching this fight. Yeah, I'm going to watch this fight. But I don't want to see Tim, uh, Tim Zoo knock out Keith Thurman. But, bruh, if I had to put my money on it, that's what I will put my money on. Tim Zoo for the late fight knockout of Keith Thurman. Just my opinion. And it would be crazy if I get this right, bruh. Because then a lot of you guys are going to see the truth, bruh. Y'all going to see the truth that Jamel Charlo avoided this dude. Yeah, he did, bro. I don't care what nobody else say. Oh, he took the Canelo fight. I gave him that credit, too. I gave him that credit, too, bro. But he avoided this guy, bro, for a reason. Because this guy can throw him like that. And it's going to take a special gentleman to step into the ring and beat Tim Zoo. I think that guy is Terrence Crawford. I know, Zoo fans, I'm giving y'all all the credit right now in this Keith Thurman fight. Because Keith Thurman coming up from 147, he hasn't seen ring activity in a while. And to a certain degree, I don't think his brain and his body are going to be on the same page once he feels Tim Zoo's power. But with Terrence Crawford, that is a different story altogether. Y'all coming over here talking about he's going to knock out Bud, bro. Y'all got to get out of here with that, bro. You talking about two-time undisputed. And he, the guy who knocked out every single 147-pounder he's seen. Now, I know, right, I know to a certain degree, this is 154. This is a different league. It's a bigger puncher, the whole nine. But we ain't talking about the punching at that point. We talking about somebody who's going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe for the most part with Tim Zhu. He can stand right in front of Tim Zhu and make him miss, right? And you got to think about it. Tim Zhu like to wind up those punches. He do, bro. He be off balance sometimes when he throwing those punches, and that's going to play right into Bud's hand. If you guys want to really look at it before I get out of here, bro, you really want to look at the fight between Tim Zhu and Bud Crawford, you can look at it like this. Tim Zhu is a taller Errol Spence. Yeah, he is. He's a taller Errol Spence. Crawford ain't calling for the Tim Zhu fight for no reason. He ain't doing it for no reason. He's a taller Errol Spence. Now, he deal with a little bit more of, of power coming from Tim Zhu, in my opinion, 
than Errol Spence, but maybe that's just the weight, or maybe it's how Tim Zoo punches on his opponents. One of the two, I've seen Errol Spence make people look hollow at times, and I do think Errol Spence is still a great fighter. I don't know why y'all be throwing him under the bat, uh, under the bus like that, but it is what it is. I, mean, I can't tell you what to think. I do think that Spence is a good fight for uh, any any guy any guy in the sport of boxing. I do think that uh, Zoo and Errol Spence will go back and forth. I don't know who will win that fight. I don't know if Bud could really beat him. But if I had to put my money on it, I'll put money on Bud before I put money on Zoo. So it just it is what it is. But in this one, I do see Zoo winning this by knockout. Later in the fight, maybe mid to late rounds. Holly Dolph will be mid to late. It'll probably be late. But if it's 10, man, if it's 10 rounds, yeah, I really see um, Keith Thurman making it out. But he's still going to lose. He's going to lose this fight. This is my opinion. This is RTH Podcast. I'm your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. What you think about the video, man? Chew me out in the comment section about the Bud. I want y'all to really give me some, some good comments about Bud Crawford in the uh, comment section so I can come back and we can do a Bud versus Tim Zoo and I'll give y'all a good breakdown analysis. Because it ain't really about that, but I know y'all going to still chew me out because of the whole uh, Tim Zoo, Terrence Crawford, scenario that I just gave y'all. But it is what it is. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace. RTH Podcast going live, man, with Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the Community Board Champion, but remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.